What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Real Real Estate Talk with Mark Cannon. That's me. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about interest rates and specifically buying down your interest rate. There's two ways that people are doing it predominantly right now. There are some other ways, but I'm only going to cover two. So first and foremost, disclaimer. I will always refer you to a lender. They are the experts. I am not, but I'm going to talk just in a general real estate sense, what we're seeing and what that means in just a general terms. So the first thing we're talking about is just buying down your interest rate as a whole. So you're going to buy a house. People are like, man, interest rates are high. Right now they're sitting about 7.2%, may go higher. We'll have to see. But one way that we can actually help get your monthly payments lower is by buying down your interest rate through something called seller concessions. So that's something that we're seeing a lot of right now because you could lower the purchase price of the home, but it doesn't impact you as much as actually lowering your interest rate, which will actually decrease your payment more than lowering the purchase price of the home. So we're doing that with seller concessions. You can get up to about 3% in seller concessions. Right now I'm seeing about, we're able to negotiate two to 3% of the purchase price for seller concessions to buy down your rate. So the chart I'm showing you right now shows you different interest rates, how that impacts you with what your payments would look like depending on how much the house is. So with this chart, what you're seeing is obviously the lower the interest rate, the less you're paying, obviously. But you can actually do that by buying it down. Right now, if you're if you can get five, ten thousand dollars in concessions, you can buy down your interest rate around a half point to maybe three quarters of a point. That's a great thing. That's something that can benefit you in getting your payments lower. The second thing that some people are pushing towards people, some lenders are pushing, is something called a two one buy down. So what that means is you're not buying down your interest rate for the whole thirty years of the loan. You're buying down your interest rate for the first two years is what that means. So in the chart I'm showing you right here, it's showing you that the first year, let's say you're buying a house, the first, you know, the interest rate's 5% for the sake of the, of the graph. You know, the first year would be 3%. The second year would be 4%. The third year would go to 5% and it'd be 5% from then on. So that's something that's, that some people are pushing right now because they're banking on interest rates being lower in the next two years. It's... It, they could be lower in the next few years. The problem is we don't know. I'm actually a little hesitant right now to actually do a 2-1 buy down because what if interest rates aren't lower? You know, you might get stuck. And some people are like, oh man, this looks great. You know, the first year, you know, man, my interest rate's 4 or 5%, but two, three years down the road, it could be 7%. Can you afford that? Some people can take that risk because they're like, yeah, I can't afford it even if it got there. Okay. Some people might not be able to, and so that's where I always, I'm hesitant with people. I say, listen, you need to really think through this. Is it okay? Because if rates don't go down, you need to make sure that you can afford it no matter what. Now, will rates probably go down? Hopefully. You know, we're, we're expecting that. That's what a lot of lenders are telling me. They think rates are going to go down. But that's just something I always want people to just be hesitant with and just think through it. Don't just go, yeah, that sounds great. Some people aren't thinking through what the ramifications could be if interest rates aren't low enough to actually help them. So just something to think about. Hope that helps. If you like these type of videos, click and subscribe and you can watch some more.